Hey, look at everyone. I have my new mask. <laughs> okay, sorry. No. Cheers. All right, the burger, the fries. Look at the texture of the fries, by the way. Looks very nice. And then you have the salad right here. Very good looking. I love the salad. And then there's this thing with the aubergine. We're going to try everything one by one, guys. Let's do this. to the natural part of Namur. Look at this, guys. The beauty, the scenery, especially in the daylight, guys. In the daytime, this is a wonderful drive through, guys. It's very interesting. Um, at night, thank goodness there are the lampposts. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a little too dark and a little risky. Hello, everybody. So today is gonna to be a very special day because I am gonna be dining in a restaurant that's at the south of Namur. Now, listen very carefully what I'm about to tell you all. The south of Namur is very different to the rest of Namur because this part is more classic. Now, when I say classic, I mean buildings with old architecture, stone buildings, and then also it's more on the countryside of things. You know, it, it, it's very countryish. There's just forests, there's just forests everywhere, guys. And I mean it, forests everywhere. And on my way here, it was just turns after turns after turns. And this is exactly what makes the experience more fun. Now, I'm going to be dining at a very interesting restaurant. This restaurant is some is a restaurant I've never dined in before. In fact, I never dined in this area of Namur. The restaurant I'm about to dine in prides itself with grill food. So grill or barbecue style food. It, it's like, you know, beef mainly. Most of it, it prides itself with beef dishes. So uh, we're going to see how this goes, guys. I'm getting pretty hungry and uh, at least I'm glad to say it's not so cold out here. You know, it's this has been a very nice winter actually in this regard. And by the way, it's night. Namur has been such a beautiful uh, place to visit at night. Namur has been so beautiful to visit at night. It is gorgeous. I am so happy. It really does remind me of my childhood when I used to go out at night, when I used to see just the bright lights everywhere in the winter, except now there's no Christmas decoration uh, because it's well past Christmas. But that's not what's important. What's important is I'm about to have a nice dinner. Let's get down to eating. All right, guys, so I'm actually seated right now, and this is so amazing. I really like the style in this restaurant. It really has this uh, mixed uh, modern country style to it. Very nice architecture, I like it. I really like the look of the menu. Uh, rather simplistic and uh, quite proud, actually. They seem so proud of what they're presenting. That's very promising, very good. Uh, so let's see what they have. Uh, they've got like quite a nice menu right here. It's a bit like too many details going on, but hey, why not? <laughs> so amazing. So um, apparently there's also part of the menu where you can have a Michelin style food. So there's basically there's a Michelin chef that actually cooks the food. Like literally. Wow. That looks promising. All right, guys, the menu looks very nice. I am going to get down to exploring the menu in further detail. And then later, I will pick my order. I just passed my first order. Let's see how this goes. I'm actually getting very excited as we go because the menu had some really delicious things. And by the way, the menu does pride itself with meat a lot. Like this, this restaurant is a grill restaurant and they had meat from basically all around Europe, from Austria, from Denmark, from Spain, from from you name it, guys. And uh, it's super impressive. It's super impressive the extra mile they go to, the, the details they give, so much precision. They even had some Japanese uh, meat right there. How amazing is that? Right. Um, first, we have to eat the food, and then we pass our adjustments. And I have to say, I love the presentation right here. So basically, you get a nice wooden table. I really love the feel of the wood. And also, it's a good presentation. You get your forks and knife right here. Very nice. Oh, by the way, I like the style of the knife. <laughs> Looks nice. Uh, very nice de detail. Fork. Oh my gosh, look at how thin the fork is. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty cute. No idea what they gave me. They gave me a nice drink. This is cocktail without alcohol. And then over here, they gave me a nice little cute little amount of olive oil with bread. Oh, the bread smells good. Hey, look at everyone. I have my new mask. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was a bit too much. <laughs> my new mask. <laughs> 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 
Anyways, and they gave me a nice, cute little cup of popcorn. I don't know where to start, guys, but I'm just gonna start with the cocktail. Ooh. Wow. Cheers. Mm. Rich strawberry and pineapple and coconut flavor. I'm happy. Right, guys, now we're gonna try the bread with olive oil. Let's see how this goes. So, uh, right, let's just dip some right there. This is, this bread has some grain, so it's good. So it's, uh, we call this brown bread. Uh, whereas white bread is when the bread is plain, there's no grain. This is brown bread, as you can see. Like for example, here I'm gonna show you something. Look at the texture of the bread. When it's got grains, we call this brown bread. Wow, this is so good. I have no idea what sort of olive oil they use, but the olive oil is so fresh. Now we're gonna try some popcorn. Very interesting start right here. Feels just at home, as if I'm watching some TV. All right guys, you have no idea what they just gave me. They gave me the burger, cheeseburger, with some fries, all right? And with a nice sauce and a nice tiny little pot right here. And they gave me a nice salad. Now the salad looks very promising, I have to try it. And they gave me a nice uh, little thing going on with the aubergine. This is like a sort of compliment for the burger. I am so excited guys, I can't wait to get down to eating this. All right, the burger, the fries, look at the texture of the fries by the way, looks very nice. And then you have the salad right here. Very good looking, I love the salad. And then there's this thing with the aubergine. We're gonna try everything one by one, guys. Let's do this. Guys, let's get down to business. So I'm gonna start with the burger. Second time eating a burger with a fork and a knife, guys. I'm not used to this, but I'm gonna have to adapt. I'm gonna have to give it a shot. Uh, first of all, let's try the fries, actually. Look at the texture of it. The fries look very nice. Let's try it with the sauce. Wow. Got a smoky texture to it. I love it. Looks very nice. Now, I'm gonna try cutting through the burger. First of all, just admire the texture of the burger. The texture of the burger is so good. Look at this, everyone. Look at, whoa. I like how you get a pink center in the middle. Looks very nice. Now, it's time to have a bite of the burger. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh. Pretty juicy texture to it. It's got some nice things dripping off, but it's okay. Not a big problem. I like it. Mm. Quite delicious. Alright guys, this has been so good, but I just made a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. I love it. It's so delicious. I love the texture. I also love how you get the gherkins in there. Very nice. Very nice juicy burger. Very soft. Just gonna eat the rest of it with my fork and knife. Super duper delicious. Now it's time to try a bit of the salad. Now this salad has a bit of Caesars to it. Quite nice. Very promising. Quite a nice salad. I love it. Mm -hmm. The salad is immaculate. My bad. I love the salad. Very nice, very refreshing, and the perfect thing to have accompanying a burger. 
Now, the salad has a bit of a sweet texture to it. No pepper, but quite a prominent amount of sesame, which is good. A good alternative to pepper and salt. Now it's time to try the fries again. Very good. Now it's time to get back to the burger. This is the first time I'm eating the burger completely with a fork and knife because I tried eating it with my hand. It was a bit of a mess, but it's my fault. So now I'm eating it like this with my fork and knife. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Quite good. You love the marriage of flavor in this burger. It's just so rich with taste. I particularly love the quality of the meat inside. So good. I love it. I really, really do. Now time to have some more salad. Good for the health. Now it's time to try the aubergine, guys. Let's see how this goes. Right, the aubergine with olives and some beans. Lovely texture. It's nice. Wow. Perfect thing to accompany a burger with. Wonderful. I love it. Now I want you all to look very carefully at the texture of the fry. Look at it from here. Very, very nice texture. Not oily, but most of all, it's fresh. You can even see the skin of the potato right there. Very good, guys. This is proof that it is fresh indeed and homemade. All right, guys, my meal was so delicious. I loved every moment of it. I actually feel full. Very rich in health. It's so uh, filling. Uh, they have like a bit of nutrition, everything, a bit of everything, guys. Uh, they have a bit of all nutrition on board, and that's something I really, really do like. Uh, the burger was, I think, one of the best parts. The salad was also great. Uh, it was on the sesame side, though. Like, the whole time I could taste the sesame prominently, which is amazing. Uh, but then also, I really, uh, I like it. I really do. Uh, the origin was interesting. I loved it. I, I think the whole dish was great and the fries were amazing. Now, guys, it's time for dessert. Ooh, I'm so excited. I just got given dessert. Now, this looks amazing. So basically, it's damn blanche with a nice little pot of hot chocolate. I feel like drinking it. Should I actually do that? I'm gonna try a bit. Oh! Best chocolate drink ever. Who said that you need hot chocolate when you can just drink this? <laughs> Actually, no. It's better to stick to something normal. Anyways, let's just pour it on top of the damn blanche. Right here, guys. Right here. Alright, this damn blanche is amazing, guys. Let's have a bite together. Amazing. This is exactly what I was talking about, everyone. Strong sense of community. That is very important, everyone. Very, very, very important. And this is something restaurants in Namur have always embraced. Now, this restaurant I dined at was very nice. It prides itself with um, a sort of grill theme. So it's like a steakhouse almost. You can put it that way. Uh, everything was fresh, uh, locally sourced. Uh, the potato of the fries was immaculate. It was special, guys. I absolutely loved it. Oh, what a pleasure, everyone. And then you get this nice view on my way back. What a wonderful sight. The thing about this restaurant is that the this, it aspires to be a sort of blend between fine dining and communal, yeah? There's a very strong sense of community when you come to this restaurant. It's, it's very, very, very nice. It's very, very interesting how it's done, guys. Uh, strong sense of community, 
everyone was there, you know, everyone could just sit there and chill, you know, very, very, very nice. And then you get nice, fresh food, which is locally sourced by ingredients. Wonderful, wonderful. Just what we needed, guys, just what we needed. Very nice, very nice, guys. I'm happy, I really, really am. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. Bye.